Yeah. Second of all, when when were you like uh, parading as Ezekiel that you wanted to just come out to Dean and go, fuck you, Dean and Ezekiel, I'm gonna fucking kick your ass up and get you. <laughs> like if you pick a scene other than when you actually had to, what scene would you come out and say, Dean, haha, I'm not what you think I am. Oh, that's a tough one. I got to turn that around on you because you put some thought into that question. <laughs> I, that's Come on, man. You, you with that? Come on, man. <laughs> Which one? Dude, when he came out of the hospital that time, you guys were walking back to baby when your eyes bloomed. I was like, just slit his throat right there. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been the scene. It could have been the scene. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, that was a little bit of a scary scene. Listen, I think. In all respect to the writers on the show, but they were very much trying to take him in a, in a direction where I think if I had not fought, a, fought against it, performance-wise, my arc may, may have been, only been three episodes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think they, they were nine years in. They were very capable. They were always writing in that way. You have to write in that way because you might hire an actor and you have an idea for him playing a character and maybe there's a five episode arc or six episode arc or maybe it's a two episode or three episode arc because things aren't working out like it just doesn't gel the actor's not gelling or the character's not gelling with the other actors uh there's not real potential to it the the, the fans aren't responding to it or not even the fans you know that there's just it's not it's not gelling right so they've always got it out they can they can get you out of there but i and again i'm, I'm say this with all humility but because of my experience up to that point I know that you can manipulate the writers and the creatives in a way by playing against what they often want you to do. And I've done it. And I did it in my very first gig, Battlestar Galactica. And, um, and it's a really powerful thing. And oftentimes it ends up for the better. Listen, sometimes, and I, I've also done it at times where it was just, I put a bunch of effort into doing something and it didn't work out. There was only one time. More times than not, if you do that extra work as an actor and you bring it in, and you give them something more to work with, they'll see it in the performance and they have to write for it. So you're influencing them in that way. And when you're not one of the leads on the show and you're only doing an arc, that's a powerful thing. And it can also, like, which happened to me with Battlestar Galactica, because I wasn't, I was, my, my job wasn't guaranteed with that. I was always a threat to more than a few actors on that show and every season I was waiting to be knocked off. But I made specific choices with Grace Park, who I did most of my scenes with and played my wife. And we, we always brought in extra work. And as a result, I think it allowed me to stay on the show. And, and if anything improved my arc, the writers had to write for my character. So I know I didn't answer your question. But I talked a bunch anyway. Thanks. Hi, Charlie. Um, Hi. So you talked a little bit about how you researched the character. But since uh, Fitzgerald was introduced in the first episode, both you and Jared played him. So I was wondering if you talked to him about how to portray the character or you kind of did 